Okay, YouTubers, so we are back at Manu Jan's setup. This is in Salisbury, Dominica. And while well, you could see from about three weeks ago, I took uh, that, that one video with no narration. You could see how, how much the, the place just changed. It's pretty amazing. And I'm gonna ask uh, Manu a couple of questions, just so you know we have a little narration. Manu, so tell us what uh, what kind of lettuce is this? What what brand is that? It's tropical Emperor. It's, okay. Um, iceberg type um, lettuce, suitable for this climate. Uh huh. Yes, and it does very well here. But you 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 really are growing it for, uh, for sale. So is yes. there a specific advantage for uh, for this lettuce? Well, yes, because we notice that in, um, the other varieties break up very easily, so we lose a lot um, in transporting it to the market. But this variety stands very very well. Yes. Okay. So we are doing this one instead. So approximately how many how, how many lettuce heads do you have here, like per section, or how, how do you break it down? Yes, well each section has approximately 300, yes, each, each section has uh -huh. approximately three, 300 heads of lettuce. So yes. tell us, uh, how, how old is this crop, right, right in front of us, um, roughly? This crop is about 40 days old. Okay. 40 days old. Yes. And what about those two sections? Well, this this young one at the back there uh -huh. was planted on the um, it's four, it's about this is 18 days from seed, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, from seed, and this section here now will be about yes, this young one there, mm -hmm. yes, and this this is about 50 or so days old. So we, we should be harvesting this very soon. Yes. Oh. And I notice that they, they have a very nice, lovely, firm head. Yeah. Real, real, just lively color. Yes. So tell us a little bit about the fertilizer that, that you're using. Well, we mostly um, use the calcium nitrate and magnesium sulfate. That's basically what we, what we use. <laughs> yes, we mix in these um, tubs here. Yes, so we have three tubs now, approximately 150 gallons of solution, and there is a pump in one of them that um, moves the water along and um, it recirculates and goes back to the. It's a closed system, so um, the water comes back into the top and we have at the moment um, we have it going almost continuously so we have pretty close to 20 or so cycles um, during a 24 hour period yeah okay you have it on a timer yes mm -hmm. we have we have a timer to turn it on so it's like um, we're getting um, one watering say 20 minutes half an hour sometimes we have um it, the, the the cycles are more frequent um during this time of day when it gets very hot you know at night we just have maybe two or three cycles and then um between six and eight we have two cycles but then um the cycles are closer together um during this time till around four o'clock this afternoon Yes. Uh, you have really nice uh, root development, I can see. But you have the, the end of the pipes open, uh, and you, you, you feel that you still have enough water uh, standing in the pipes uh, when you have off cycle. Yes, we have yes yeah, sufficient water in in the pipes. We, we, um, if you were to um, remove one of these, you would see the network of roots that's in there. So all the water is trapped. Um, in there to keep the plants going between the cycles. So just a little of the excess keeps coming down each time. I also noticed that it's pretty hot today and, and yes. still your lettuce yes. is just standing nice That's and right. firm yes. and very, yes. very yes. living. Yes. yes, yes. 
so the water in is just fine. Uh, and and uh, tell us about this this other uh, sort of a uh, new development that you did where you uh, plant the seed in, in a little bit of soil in there. Yes, and a little bit of substrate. Yes, we have. Um, so uh, yeah, so what we actually trying to do is to bypass the normal nursery stage, so to speak. So we have the plant start right there, right there. The plants have started right there in this little um in in, in this. Mm -hmm. Show See. show us the little copy if you would please. Yes. Yes. We we start we start the seed in this mm -hmm. and in this right there. So we never have we seed it right here and we don't have to touch it anymore. Yes. And so uh, uh um you don't have any problems with, with the cups being so tiny. I, no, I noticed that you even yes, have I'm a small trying some of the tinier cups. Uh, no problem. No okay. problem. No problem. Let me ask you one yeah. other thing. Um, mm -hmm. Is there a real significant advantage to uh, to growing uh, in this system rather than just doing it in the ground? In the ground, yes. Um, yes. Uh, I would say that um, the obvious thing is that you don't have to weed and you don't have to bend oh. uh, everything is at, <laughs> at a comfortable um level we are about almost four feet or so of the ground surface uh -huh. and the other good thing about it is this that um all the problems associated with um producing in the soil mm -hmm. we bypass that all the okay. pests you know and so on the, the, the only thing though is this that um, with this system here, the soil is a buffer. So if okay. you're growing anything in the soil and things are not right, um, it's not too much of a problem. The soil can, you know, take care of that. But in this system here, you need to be very careful that everything just is just right. Otherwise, the plants will show you that they're not comfortable, they're not happy. And uh, depending on the severity of what is wrong, you can lose all your all, all your plant one one shot just like that overnight you can lose everything yes that's so, why we keep checking for the tds yes which the right. meter i forget today i yes. should have brought it with me yes. so we could double yes. check but yes. Yes. Uh, and i also yes. noticed that you have some other uh, tiny little plant well not tiny little plants but other plants <laughs> um, the little tomato well, yeah, plant there some tomatoes okay. i just seeded them and and um use it as a nursery for them because okay. um, we don't intend to keep them there. Oh, okay, yes, but will you no. transplant it in soil or? Yes, I think maybe I do it in soil or I prepare something um, to grow them um, hydroponically like this okay. as well. Okay. Which is what I plan to do next. Yes. Okay, well, I think for this session that's about all. We hope yeah, you enjoyed you. it and we'll do another update in about two, yes. three weeks. Yes. Thank you, Manu. Enjoy. Thank you, Manu. Have fun hydroponic. Okay.